Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be my first Kiko haul. Um, in the past, Kiko has not been available to order or get here in the United States, but here recently, I'm not for sure how recent, probably like in the last year, they have actually opened up a warehouse here in the United States so that now we can get um, Kiko products. And um, the majority of the products have been um, manufactured and packaged in Italy with the exception of the foundation that I ordered and it was um, packaged and shipped distributed here in the United States um, yeah because it says it's made in the USA anyway um, 4th of July weekend they were doing a additional 30% off your total order and then they had a lot of items that were on sale so I went ahead and placed a pretty good size order. I got a little bit of a variety of items. So we will, um, we, I, us, will get started with this. And um, first of all, I want to kind of talk about the packaging. Um, everything came shipped very well. I mean, there was, there was nothing that was broke or damaged in shipment. Um, shipping was fairly quick. And um, your orders, if you placed an order of $15 or more, then you got free shipping, which I will tell you I ordered more than $15 worth. But anyway, um, the packaging is kind of comparable in some aspects to NARS and then in other aspects to um, MAC. So the foundation I ordered was this here, and, the, and everything came in a really nice box like this. It wasn't just, you know, shipped, just the packaging, you know, just loose like this. You know, everything was packaged very nicely. So this was the foundation, and this was the anti-age foundation, and it's 28 mil or .94 fluid ounces. Um, now on the boxes, none of the boxes are going to have shade numbers or shade names. It's all going to be numbers. So what I will do is in the description box, I'll put the shade name of each of the products that I got. But for the video, I'm only going to be able to do just the um, the number unless it has, has it on here or if I remember. Anyway, so this is the foundation. Like I said, it's the anti-age foundation and it is in the num the color WR45 which was warm rose. Now we'll tell you that the color col selection was a little I wasn't for sure because it was really hard to tell online. I would recommend maybe going and watching some review videos of Kiko and see if you can find swatches of different foundations that way. I am wearing the foundation and I will tell you that it's a little bit a little bit too much on the yellow side but I knew that it probably would be because I was needing something that had a pink undertone to it and this was as close as I could get in the tone that I would need so anyway and this is the packaging I guess I should show you this instead of that empty box and um, called Kiko Milano and it has a little pump top on it which is always really nice and here is the foundation itself and it has a probably like a light to medium coverage it's not a full coverage at all there's the color there hopefully you can see that and um, the wear time was pretty good I did put my makeup on around 5.30 this morning and it's 7.30 now and I'm not one to take a powder with me and touch up throughout the day. Um, if it wears off, it wears off. I just, I don't carry, the only thing I carry in my purse that's makeup wise is a lipstick. But anyway, um, I do have a little bit of a patchiness around here but that is normal for me because I'm all the time going like this and touching my face here so that is normal. Um, so anyway, so that was the foundation, and it was anti-aging, so it was supposed to be a little bit more of a luminous foundation, but I did not find that it was very brightening, but yet it wasn't flat either. I also ordered a powder, and this is the Radiant Fusion Baked Powder, 
and this is in the color number two radiant fusion is all it says on here and it was 10 grams 0.35 ounces again you know it's packaging just like you would have went to mac and made a purchase and then this is what the packaging looks like here which is a very shiny almost like a gunmetal type finish on the packaging and then you open it up and it has you know at the mirror and then here's the product itself now i personally like the fact that they didn't waste any extra packaging by making this lift and then putting a the sponge back in there because i don't i wouldn't use it anyway but i guess if you took a powder with you for touch-ups you probably would like that but anyway um, but here is the color here and i do have this on over my foundation and like i said i did not take this with me to um, touch up or anything throughout the day but it's a very nice soft silky smooth powder and I really did like this it wasn't um I was almost afraid to order because I was afraid you know because when everything anything says radiant I think that it's going to be packed full of little pieces of glitter this doesn't have any glitter in it at all it almost kind of reminds me of maybe the the hourglass um, powders I forget what they're called but anyway but maybe a little bit more matte than what those are but not it's not a matte formula but just more of a matte than what those are those are more illuminating I guess is what I'm saying but anyway I did like this I think it's a very nice like I said it was silky smooth and I just felt like it's a good powder and I will tell you that everything that I purchased with the exception of one thing um, everything was under each thing was under ten dollars each so probably what I'll do in the description box too is I'm um, maybe I'll put the price um I had it all wrote down and I lost my piece of paper between work and getting home so anyway so I had the powder and then oh gosh I ordered this too which the white packaging it's going to be hard to tell but this is from a summer one of their collections that they come out with apparently they come out with different collections throughout the year kind of like MAC and I forgot what the collection of this one was called but a lot of the products in those collections anyway they come out with different collections throughout the year but a lot of the products in those collections from what I read and what I could see is like repromotes so if you mix miss it in the collection packaging the special edition packaging you might get it in the regular packaging anyway this is just oh, so pretty i mean it's got the rose gold here on the outside but wait wait till you see this this is pretty um this is 20 grams or 0.7 ounces and it is a bronzer it's called desert dunes baked bronzer and the color in the color um, 200 warm melange look, look at that. oh my lights gonna make a glare on it but anyway it's just beautiful rose gold packaging and the front of it is like textured oh, and then it has the, the Kiko logo right there and then you open it up and your big mirror but look at that oh so pretty and I've swatched it so it's kind of messed up but oh it's pretty I don't have it on somewhere in a different bronzer that was in a kit that I got but anyway that is it let me see if I can give you a swatch so it's really pretty and it is a little bit of a more of a a sheeny type bronzer which I, I usually kind of steer clear of but this was just so pretty it is so pretty so and it has a little bit of that um, cocoa smell to it. Oh, it smells good. Pretty, smells good. Mm, I'm going to wear it tomorrow. But yeah, that is so pretty. Look, oh, that's pretty. So anyway, so that is that. And like I said, I don't remember the collection. And I know this was on sale even. So they, they do pretty good about when they come out with their collections about putting them on sale too. 
And then along with that same collection, I got a lipstick. So it's in that same white packaging with the rose gold on the lid here. It's a Mirage Lip Stylo in the number 04. Wait till you see that. Oh, it's the rose gold and it has all this textured type, um, hammered type look to the tube. And the tube, it kind of goes in a little bit here in the middle. And it's, it's, it's not real heavy at all, but yet it's not chintzy. It's not so cheap, cheaply made that it's really, really light. I mean, it's got some weight to it. And this is the color that I'm wearing, and it is um, kind of like a peachy coral, coral color. And like I said, they don't have number or names. It's just numbers, but that is it right there. It's the color I have on. I will tell you with the lipsticks though that they are a very, or at least these two that I ordered are very sheer. So if you're wanting something that is very opaque, don't order this um, this line or this formulation because it's just so sheer. And I'm not much of a sheer lipstick wearer, but these were on sale and I got the extra percent off, so I will to give them a try. And I think they ended up being around like five dollars. So I wanted to give them a try, but um, you definitely can't build them up and they do kind of get a little, they start kind of migrating a little bit and kind of gathering into the corners of my mouth. And I even wore it with a, um, a lip liner today. And I didn't really care for it, but it's a beautiful color in the packaging. You just can't beat the packaging. And then the other one that I got is number seven. And if I can get this open. Again, the same type of packaging, and this is more of a red, a tomato red. And it's just another sheer, it's very sheer, it's really pretty. So, have that. Okay, now we will move on to this here. This is the 30 days extension night treatment booster for your eyelashes. This was this wasn't on clearance, but I got 30% off of it and it was $12 and then it got additional 30% off. Um, the reviews on it was really good. I mean everyone felt like they were doing some lash growth with it. And it just looks like, you know, your normal everyday um, lash eyelash serum I guess so put it on like you would a mascara so, actually you know now that I say that don't all those lash serums don't they have like a little brush and you put it on the lash line anyway I never tried one so I thought for you know eight dollars or whatever it was give it a try so I got that and then I ordered a couple of blushes and again here's one of the boxes from the blushes. I ordered two of them and these were on clearance for I want to say around four dollars and something so and then another 30 percent off and these are the ones that the packaging reminds me of the NARS like it's like rubberized type packaging and then has the mirror and there, this is the color 108, and it's called the Soft Touch Blush. I don't have it on because I'm wearing something else. <laughs> You'll see it. I'll show it here next. But there it is blush. So that's in 108. And then this one is number 102. And this is this one here. And there was actually a lot of people, a lot of the um, Kiko hauls that I watched prior to placing my order, a lot of people purchased this color and a lot of people raved about it and the feel of it is very soft and smooth just like the powder was. Look at that color. It's really pretty. Really pretty and I don't normally gravitate toward the the mauve type more on the brown side of blush but I thought that was so pretty and I also thought that would make a really pretty eyeshadow too. So I did order that, obviously. Okay, then I ordered one of the um, 
the eyeshadow palette, the little kits that they had. And this, I think, was from Summer Collection or the Olympic Collection or the Pool Collection. I can't remember what it was called. But then the packaging, it's got this girl diving into the water. And this looks like all the different waters. And then it's kind of angled up. Just kind of gives it a little bit of dimension to where it's just not a flat cut-off box. Anyway, and then when you open it up, it's in this cute little teal blue pouch and it has the purple zipper around it you open it up and here is your makeup and this is designed obviously for travel because it has your eyeshadows a blush and a bronzer it had a little eyeliner here but um, I used this this morning and I don't know what I did with the little eyeliner I think I I think I may have thrown it away to be honest with you then there's a little brush and a little sponge applicator which I won't use those um, this would be good for travel, obviously, but for just using here at home, I took it out of the little pouch here, and this is how I did it. But anyway, this is the bronzer I have on. I do have this on as my blush, this color here, and I do have these eyeshadows on as my eyeshadow look today. And like I said, I put everything on at 5.30ish this morning, and at 7.30 now, everything seemed to last pretty good, and it's still going and I didn't touch up when I got home either before filming I just got here and started filming because I wanted you to see what it actually looks like after wearing it all day so let me do a little swatches of the eyeshadow again now they're not you know they're not like strong opaque colors they just created a really nice soft um, look which for women of our age is really complimentary anyway so I don't know if you're going to be able to see anything because it's so light probably not maybe you could probably see that darker color there but the other colors are going to be too light for you to see anyway but it turned out a very pretty eye look I was very pleased it went on really nice it blended really nice I didn't have any problems no skipping no pulling it was just really pretty and then this is the bronzer and the blush the brush blush is really pretty and I was almost afraid that when I got this in that the blush in this kit was going to be almost identical if not identical to the other one that I ordered in the single but if you put them side by side you can see this one is definitely well you may not be able to my monitor this one's more brown where this one's more mauve more pinky mauve this is more brown mauve so two different colors so I'm glad that they ended up being two different colors so okay and then I ordered a few of the what they call the um, water eyeshadows look like this here and I had four and I don't know what I do. I know where the other one's at. It's in my car because I was opening them up and looking at them at the post office. And I dropped it. And when I dropped it, the whole eyeshadow came out of the compact and landed under my seat. So I had to fish it out. And it's still in my car. Anyway, you'll see why. Because they're very, it's almost like a baked eyeshadow. And they're very fragile. This one I was really surprised that none of them broke. But um, here's the package, the eyeshadow package. This is the number 227, and it's a long-lasting wet and dry use eyeshadow. And has the mirror, and then here is what product looks like itself. I mean, it looks like it's been poured, and then while it was still wet, someone took their finger and went like this with it. But it's oh, really pretty. I have this on here in the inner corner I also have it as my highlight also this color here mm -hmm. you can see it it's right there then the next one I have is 229 and this one is a beautiful silver color oh my gosh it's so pretty wait till you see this oh look at that shine on that oh so pretty more it's pulling a little bit more of a blue silver oh Lord, that's pretty and you can 
the Oof, that's pretty. So I got that one. And these were all, these colors that I ordered were on sale and then additional percent off. And then there were some that were regular price. And the regular price of them, I think, were $14. And then this one, this one is my favorite. This one is so pretty. This one is number 209. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful olive green. Oh, it's so pretty. Love it. There's the color there. There it is, right there. It's so pretty. So those were the wet, the water eyeshadows, other than the one that's in my car. And it was like a, a burgundy black type color. I need to get a white. I will be right back. Okay, the last items that I ordered were some of their, um, their, 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 some of their <laughs> eyeshadow sticks. And I think out of everything that I ordered, I think these I'm the most impressed with. And these ended up being around $6 a piece. Anyway, mm. they're pretty. So, and I actually might go back and order some more of the colors that are marked down. Anyway, mm, they're pretty. Anyway, they are called the Long Lasting Stick. So, long lasting stick, which is just a, an eyeshadow stick. We've seen them uh, everywhere from, gosh, you know, um, Laura Mercier, um, Bobby Brown, I'm kind of looking over there. So Ava, I mean, there's all kind of, everybody I think has eyeshadow sticks, but these, these, whoo, these. I swatched them all on my hand and I could not get them off. I mean, they were on there for life it seemed like anyway this one is the number 35 which is just really pretty pink and gosh I don't know if you're going to see 35 and I think all of them with maybe except for a couple have a little bit of sparkle in them but not too much then I have number 34 there, which is like a champagne. This is the one right here that I put all over the lid this morning before I started applying the eyeshadows and stuff. I'm sorry I messed with my hair, but there's a piece of hair that is loose and it keeps popping me in the eye. So that one is number 34, pinky champagne. This is more like a bubblegum pink and then more like a champagne pink. And then this is a champagne. This is number seven. You'll see. And that's that one. Oops. And then this one here is number 38. And I think this one is more of a matte color. And this is more like a mauve. Mauve taupe color, mauvey taupe with maybe just a hint of gray in it. And then this one here, this is number four, and this one is like a chocolate brown. And this one, it does have some light um, gold glitter in it right here. And what I did with this one today was I took my little um, pencil, or not pencil, brush here. I don't know what kind of brush this is called. I use it for eyeliner all the time. And I just took it and I just wiped it on the tip of here and then I used it for my eyeliner and I used it underneath for my eyeliner. And let me tell you, I always have problems with my eyeliner under my eyes disappearing throughout the day. It never ever lasts and it usually ends up all smudged and icky looking. This, this little guy lasted all day, all day. So that's what has prompted me to want to go back and order some more of the more opaque colors to use as eyeliners underneath here. I didn't use it in the waterline. I don't know how that would work, but it would be worth a try. It says it's an eight hour 
no transfer performance eyeshadow and I believe it I do believe it so I think out of everything I ordered um, if you were to go on the website and would want to order a few things I would definitely pick up some of the eyeshadow st um, eyeshadow sticks give it a try see what you think and yeah anyway so thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next